Check it out. Last day, very last day, we are flying out today and we got our target snake, a ring neck snake. We are flipping tin and it was cold up underneath. Made a dash for it, I grabbed it and check out that underneath. It's a young one so it hasn't developed the complete red belly but that is so awesome. This is such a cool find. I've always wanted to see one of these. I wanted to see one in the west but we didn't really get one and we didn't get time. And oh, I just think these are just so awesome. They were definitely, at least, my brother's. Uh, the guy is filming right now. It was his target snake. This is what he most wanted to see. These can actually move quite fast, and they are a uh, they're a nocturnal species because uh, I think I read anyway in a certain bit that the northern ringneck snake, which this is, only feeds on salamanders. But then, when I looked on a second site, it said it feeds on uh, salamanders, uh, frogs, and uh, insects. As you can see, this is the ringneck's defensive technique. Basically, if it's confronted with a predator, uh, a bit like the redneck snake, I mean red-bellied snake we found earlier, it will flip over and show the bright colours underneath, and then the uh, the enemy, the uh, predator will think, ah, oh, it must be venomous, and basically back away and leave it alone. I'm not sure this technique always works, but it still makes the snake look really cool. A yeah, pretty boring snake, it was just grey on top, no colour pattern. The ring on its neck, aptly named because of that. And actually a really cute, docile, slender, terrestrial snake.